Thank you. Uh, now calling the Tarnish to. Thank you. Karen Corla, the <coughs> effect of today's decision by the government <coughs> is that Ireland will now exit uh, the EU IMF bailout programme on December 15th uh, without applying for a pre precautionary programme. This is an important decision uh, on our country's road to recovery. Uh, it's an important milestone, and now is the right time to make this decision and to take this step. Market conditions are now in our favour, with Ireland now holding over €20 billion Euros in cash reserves and bond yields at historically low levels. The public finances are now under control, with the budget targeting a small primary surplus for next year. Investors have now increased confidence in Ireland. The ESM has been established. Domestic and international economic conditions are improving, and international confidence in Ireland has improved considerably in recent times. We all recall the shock and the sense of grief which was felt when Ireland had to go into a bailout at the end of 2010. Ever since this government was elected at the beginning of 2011, we have worked to exit the bailout and to get our economy to recover. Today's decision is an important milestone along that road. We are in a position to make this decision today because of the actions we have taken over the past two and a half years. The renegotiation of key terms of the bailout programme itself, including the reduction in the interest rates, resolving the Anglo promissory note, getting the deficit down and putting our public finances in order, concentrating on jobs and economic growth so that we are now creating 3,000 jobs per month, restoring our country's international reputation so that we can attract the investment we need to create jobs. Today's decision to exit the bailout without a precautionary programme restores us to a normal place among the Eurozone countries. We will no longer be a programme country, but a normal member of the Eurozone, subject to the normal conditions of Euro membership and continuing to work our way to full economic recovery. We still have a distance to travel, to get our economy to grow at an even faster pace, <coughs> to attract even more investment, to further boost confidence in the domestic economy and to create even more jobs, especially for the young. Today's decision is historic, it is important and it is welcome. But there will be no celebration until our economic fortunes are fully recovered and until economic recovery is fully experienced in the daily lives of the people. And this government will continue its determined and its consistent work to that end. But today's decision and our exit from the bailout would never have been achieved without the patience and the endurance of the Irish people who have suffered from the crisis and who have deep down understood that there is no easy route to recover. Neither could today's outcome have been arrived at without the courage and the support of those members of the Oireachtas who continued to have the courage to support the difficult decisions that this government has had to make. When we put our country first, then our country, uh, we will get our country uh, to recover, and this government will continue its patient and its determined work uh, to bring that about.